Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna give you a full overview of how to get approved for your first business credit card by talking about my experience of recently being approved for my first business card, the Chase Inc. Business Cash. Now the cool part about being approved for this card was that my new business that this card is for, which is this YouTube channel, was actually generating $0 in revenue at the time that I was approved for this card. And it was actually a pretty easy process to be honest. So I'm gonna go over that entire process in this video. That way you could take some similar steps to what I did because I think that anybody can be approved for a business card. So if that sounds good to you, then be sure to tap the like button down below and subscribe for more personal finance and credit card content. And let's get right into the video. Now, before we talk about getting approved, I think we need to talk about why exactly you might consider getting a business credit card for your new business in the first place. The first reason is a pretty obvious reason, and that is the fact that there are really high bonuses that are typically offered on business credit cards. Now, these welcome bonuses are usually pretty big because credit card companies are trying to incentivize business owners to use their credit cards for the many expenses that have business is likely to have. So when you start getting approved for business credit cards, you're opening up a whole new door to earn a ton of points for travel or cash back. And another thing with these cards and their bonuses is that a lot of times there are business versions of personal credit cards that you might be more familiar with. So for example, there's a personal version of the Amex Gold and the Amex Platinum. And then there's also business versions of those two cards with slightly different benefits. Since these business cards and personal cards are different products, you're eligible to get the welcome bonus for both of them. Okay, so another reason why people like to get business business credit cards is to make their lives a little bit easier by separating their business and their personal expenses. A good practice when you have a business is to put all of your business expenses on your business credit cards and then all of your personal expenses on your personal credit cards to simplify things at the end of the year for things like taxes. Now you can technically use your business credit cards to pay for personal expenses if you want to. And that's what I'm actually doing right now with my Inc. Cash card. And I'll explain why in just a minute here. But generally, I recommend that you do use your business credit cards for what they're actually intended for. A third Third nice advantage of business credit cards, or at least most business credit cards, is that they don't show up on your personal credit report. I say most of them because certain business credit cards from companies like Capital One and Discover do get reported to consumer credit bureaus in addition to commercial credit bureaus as of right now. So that's just something to be aware of. But the majority of business cards out there do not affect your personal credit report, even though you'll likely get hit with a hard inquiry when you do apply for a business card, just because those credit card companies are going to check you personally to make sure that you're trustworthy enough with credit. And that is going to be a hard inquiry that affects your credit score just a little bit. It might make it decrease by just a few points in the short term, but that'll wear off pretty quickly and it's really no big deal. Now for me personally, I wanted to start getting into business credit cards because I knew that I was going to be buying some new equipment for this YouTube channel. So I wanted to put that spending on a new business credit card. First of all, keep it separate from my personal expenses, but also to put that spending towards earning a welcome bonus on a new card. That way I can earn a solid amount of points that I can put towards travel. Now I'll do a full review video on the Chase Inc. Business Cash in the near future and explain exactly why I chose this specific card as my first business credit card. But basically I'm under the Chase 524 rule at the moment. So I wanted to take advantage of that and focus on some Chase personal and business cards. And in case you didn't know, you need to be under the Chase 524 rule in order to be approved for a new Chase business credit card. But that new card won't actually count towards your 524 status since it's not showing up on your personal credit report. The welcome bonus on the in cash is 75,000 Chase Ultimate Rewards points, which is really nice. But that comes after a large amount of minimum spend, which is $7,500 in the first three months. Now, since that's a lot of money and I knew I wasn't going to be spending that much on business expenses in those first three months, I've been using the card for my combined personal and business spending until I hit that $7,500 requirement. And then I'll switch over to just using this card for business expenses. All right. So now on to the main purpose of this video, which is to help anybody out there get approved for their first business credit card by talking about my experience. Now I documented everything that I did with this application on the notes app on my phone. So I'm going to read off those notes to you to hopefully give you a little bit of insight into the process. With this process, there are three main things that I found to be the most important to getting approved on my first try for my first business card. So first, you're going to obviously need a business. But when a lot of people hear this, they start to turn away from business credit cards because they're under the impression that they need to be in charge of some sort of big giant business that generates a ton of revenue in order to qualify for a business credit card. However, just keep in mind that the definition of a business is pretty broad. A business is really just an individual individual or a group of people that produce goods or services in the pursuit of profits. And I think that most people out there can find some sort of side hustle that they have in their life, whether it's a big one that generates $100,000 plus in annual revenue or a smaller one generating less than $5,000 in revenue. You can find something out there that you can use to qualify for and then apply for a business credit card. Maybe you're an Uber driver that's earning some extra cash in your free time on the weekends, or maybe you're creating some custom jewelry and then selling that on Etsy. Whatever it may be, just identify something in your 
your life that earns you a little bit of extra income because that could be used to qualify you for a business credit card. And that card could be the thing that earns you the extra travel points that books your next vacation for free. The second thing that you need to have is a good personal credit score. And for that, I recommend a score of at least 700, but ideally higher if possible. When I click submit on the application page for my Ink Cash card, I had a personal credit score that was in the high 700s. And I think that that really helped with the comfortability of Chase approving me for that card. That along with the fact that I also had three personal cards with Chase also probably helps. That's a nice little bonus tip there. Develop a pre-existing relationship with the bank that you're trying to use to apply for a first business card. And the third thing is to be persistent and proactive when applying. I wasn't instantly approved for the Ink Cash card like I was for my three other personal Chase cards, but I decided that I was gonna take a proactive approach by reaching out to Chase over the phone to try to provide any additional information if possible because I had nothing to hide. My business was legitimate and it was gonna be producing revenue very soon. So I was trying to just increase their comfort with approving me. Now I will say that I created an LLC for my business and I got an EIN, which is basically like a social security number, but for your business for tax purposes. And I think that really helps to legitimize your business in the application process as well. It's super easy to form an LLC in whatever state that you live in. You just have to Google and do a little bit of research or you can use a service like Zen Business, which is what I did, but it's pretty straightforward and you could just do it yourself. But you could also just apply for a business credit card as yourself because by default, without being a separate entity, you're gonna be what's called a sole proprietor. And if you're a sole proprietor, you can fill out your business credit card application using your social security number. You just might have to wait a little bit longer to get approved. You might have to answer a few more questions, but it's still a legitimate way to get approved for a business card. Because again, if you have a legitimate business, no matter how big or how small, then you really have nothing to hide in the application process. Okay, so with all that out of the way, let me go through my entire application process that took maybe about a week and a half from beginning to end. So I actually found this interesting flowchart on Reddit and I'll link it down below in the description if you wanna go check it out for yourself. But I used this as a reference to figure out what to do next after each step. First, I applied around four o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday and I got an email saying that they would let me know about a decision within 30 days of that application. I waited about an hour until five o'clock and then I called Chase so I could speak to a rep where they told me that I would wait one to two weeks before they came to a decision. But they also said that I could call back within the next 24 to 48 hours to see if there was anything updated about my application status. So I waited two days and called Chase back, but they told me that nothing had changed. Later that day though, I got an email asking for me to upload a few documents within the application. So I had to upload a certificate of organization for my LLC, proof of my EIN number, and then proof of my current address. So I decided to go ahead and upload all of those items right away. After about six days now, I called Chase once again to see if there was anything else that I could do to push that application along. I explained that I had applied for my first Chase business credit card last week. And I also emphasized the fact that I was a longtime Chase customer with three personal Chase credit cards. And I was happy to provide any further details about my business that would help with my application process. They transferred me from number to number across a few different departments, but eventually I landed with somebody who told me that they had all the documents that I uploaded and they were still reviewing the application and would let me know of a decision within one week to 10 days. So going off of that flow chart, again, that I found off of Reddit, it seemed like with that message, I should try try calling the Chase reconsideration line because I was worried that my business card application was at risk of being denied by their system. There's a few different reconsideration line numbers out there. So if you ever need to call them for this, just do a quick Google search and you'll be able to find the right number for you. But when I was connected with somebody from the reconsideration line, they were actually very helpful. He also confirmed that Chase had my application as well as all the documents that they needed. So I was going to receive a decision within the next few days as they just continued to verify the application. But I could call back within the next 24 to 48 hours to check again. Now, I don't know if this is exactly what helped me, but my thinking is that by calling the reconsideration line, it ended up pushing my application out in front of a real person instead of leaving the decision up to an automated system. But whatever I did, it must have helped because later on that day, I got that approval email and I was so excited to see that. I really didn't have to answer any further questions after I clicked the submit button on my application. So I think that everything that I talked about previously in this video really helped me out in some way. So to summarize, business credit cards have a ton of advantages and can open up a world of opportunities for more points and more benefits from your credit cards. And if you wanna start getting business credit cards, but you're nervous about the approval process for your first one, just follow along with some of the steps and the advice that I talked about in this video, especially if you're gonna be applying with Chase. Remember that if you have a real business, no matter how big or how small, you can qualify for a business credit card. Well, I hope this video was useful to anyone that's still watching. And if you are still watching, then feel free to go ahead and check out some of the other videos that I have here on my channel, like this one right here, where I talk about seven of the most common credit card mistakes that I see people make the most. In this video over here where I talk about all the credit cards that I personally 
have right now. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a great day.